we believe that this message will be a blessing to you so I want you to stay glued and watch to the end and share to bless others this is Christocentric we have a lot of Apostle Eric Nyamiche's message on our platform kindly check them out thank you for watching stay blessed our ancestors worship on this mountain but you Jews claim that the place to worship is in Jerusalem. Woman Jesus replied, Believe me, a time is coming when you worship the Father neither on this mountain nor in Jerusalem. You Samaritans worship what you do not know. We worship what we do know for salvation is from the Jews. Samaria for no more sorry the moon in a young, you sorry the union no essence and quite here if you do that Yet a time is coming. And so a bribery bar and has now come when the true worshippers will worship the Father in the spirit and in truth. Now a brino a do brano quarry a sorry for be sorry a jano a wahum and in the For they are the kind of worshippers the Father seeks. It has a winum ni wa was sorry nyanko pawa a jano a shish. God is spirit. Na o nyanko pong or your home. And his worshippers must worship him in spirit and in truth. When I was sorry, no, no, was sorry, no, whom any no cream. The woman said, No, Bano said, No, say, I know that Messiah called Christ is coming. Mean him, some Messiah only Christo no or a When he comes, he will explain everything to us. Now say, Oba, or no, no, better way you now, I say. Then Jesus declared, I yes, you say, no, say, I the one speaking to you, I am he. Me, I mean, no, Rick, I say, many or no. The Messiah is come already. Messiah no abba ewi. The order of worship is changed. We have moved from the Old Testament type of worship to the New Testament type of worship. You free apam da da ni mu kwa ya wafaso sorry no mu abba apam fu fro no kwa ya wafaso. Now we said last week that under the New Covenant worship us in bowing down, uh, as in shaha. And Avoda, as in service, are fused into one. You can't say ne se or sorry ah. You can't Hebrew focus them say shaha ne Avoda. A yet say yet by you must say na ya sum a sorry ni anko pon ana ya ye juma mano no a ye adie ba ko wakambu. Worship is about all you do. Or sorry ah we. It is not enough to be bowing in adoration. God expects His lovers to prove. By obeying his command. In other words, in the New Testament ministry, worship involves all we do. Whether we are in church or out of church. Whether we are kneeling before him or we are the workplace. Now the whole of life is supposed to be our worship unto the Almighty God. So we read from Romans 12, verse 1 last week. Paul says that therefore our age brothers and sisters. Paul can say in view of God's mercies to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice holy and pleasing to God. Therefore, this is your true and proper worship. Now, why is he appealing to the Romans to offer their bodies as a living sacrifice? Because God does not desire or did not desire Human sacrifice in the Old Testament. Is he telling the people to offer their bodies as sins? What, what does he mean? We will look at it to, today. So, or can't you one say one for one nipped the yamma and now one for more for the and then no patch there no and ne a beche? Colossians 3 16 and 17. Mommy and Colossi four man, a timian, sir, and you move do me and sir. 
Now let's remind ourselves of how the Old Testament worship, the Shaha and the Avoda is fused, are fused into one. And let the message of Christ dwell among you richly as you teach and admonish one another before wisdom through psalms. Now, so when we are singing psalms or hymns or songs from the Spirit or singing to God with gratitude in our heart, this one, God is pleased with it. So God is interested in our adoration. And then the songs we sing to him, they also come as a strengthening to the church. He is interested in the shaha. The next verse. The next verse begins with and. Whatever you do. So beyond the worship. This one. Should be added. Whether in word or deed. Do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, giving thanks to God the Father through Him. So, last week we said that what has caused this, this difference in worship is because of the substitutionary death of Christ on the cross. Now our understanding of this will make our possessing the nation's agenda very easy. Do you understand why we, your new faith demands that you declare and exhibit Christ wherever you are? You then understand why you should live and be holy everywhere. So this evening I will discuss the essentials of worship. The essentials essentials of worship in the Old Testament. See, worship under the law that is in the Old Testament was God initiated and God prescribed. Remember that Israel was redeemed from Israel to go to the wilderness and to worship God. In the last chapter of Exodus, worship in the old covenant was formally inaugurated. Now, once Israel moved from Egypt and then they crossed the Red Sea and they began their journey towards Cana, things concerning the worship started began. God started organizing and bringing people to build the tabernacle, uh, raising priests and all that. By the last chapter, Temple worship or the tabernacle worship was formally inaugurated. So the tabernacle was built. The priesthood was established. Aaron and his children were anointed to begin work. 
Aaron, and in the many na was raw one was one shame you must say. And the first verses of Leviticus started prescribing sacrifices. Now if you must say one metosu mi and send it till the kind of no what you require one fast so and ma for ya would em ready. Let's go and to the inauguration of the first church. Woman to me can conquer bra was a sorry di kind of fano. Exodus 40, 33, 34, 35. Are we together? Then Moses set up the courtyard around the tabernacle. So the tabernacle is built and altar and put up the curtain at the entrance of the courtyard and so Moses finished the work. And Moses see a duo no the cha tenabia no ho a for him which no who si I na or the duo no abwa bo uh no sene ho na mose ye a jumano. Now in fact he was instructed to build this tabernacle according to the pattern that God was showing. Now if you say no she share no the cream tamano a to two muno and not just say oh see son to madano said you nyanko pon chile no pe 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 pe. That is why scripture says Moses finished the work. And you think I trust him no a chile say Moses ye a jumano. Then the cloud covered the tent of meeting and the glory of the Lord filled the tabernacle. Moses could not enter the tent of meeting because the cloud has settled on it and the glory of the Lord filled the tabernacle. And I'm no cum no becata, she and to my dinosaur. Now a radian no yam beset, now be no ma, now Moses and to me and Sanny, she and to my dinamo, if we say, now no cum no teso, now a radian no yam asset, now be no ma. Now look at what happened. When shall you see here? It is just as it happened when the temple was finished. And the articles were being brought from this very tabernacle or the tent of meeting to the temple. Let's go to Second Chronicles five. It said, "We are sorry, then, because you know, was this a we are sorry, then we see a day in tomorrow day in tomorrow ma. Edi abe mono, mommy and mommy di angkoche. E wo bresu sam huma e tosu mi no no." Second Chronicles chapter five. I'll take verse one. And then I'll take verse 12 and 13. Yeah, you share you more dikano. Nafe ya she do me no and you do me and I'll add the 14, please. Do nine so beka home. When all the work Solomon had done for the temple of the Lord was finished, just as Moses also finished his, he brought in the things his father David had dedicated, the silver and gold and all the furnishings. And he placed them in the treasuries of God's temple. Na uye a juma Solomon yema e radifi nunina. Na Solomon de neja David kron kron nye no bai. Na o di gete ni sika ni nye nunina bisye o nyanku pon fie akra de numu. So this time the temple was replacing the tabernacle. That now, is hey, the difference. Not just what the a sorry dino e sis yantuma dino anemu. All the Levites who were musicians, Asaf, and all that, they started singing. Let's jump to verse 14. Or a part of 13. Then the temple of the Lord was filled with the cloud. And the word there is not with a cloud, but the same cloud that they know filled the temple of God. And verse 14 says that, and the priests could not perform their services, but the Exodus says that and Moses could not enter. That time Moses was a champion because Aaron had just been uh, uh, anointed. He has not even started practicing even the priesthood. And said Moses could not enter. And this time he says that the priests could not perform their services because of the cloud. For the glory of the Lord filled the temple. And so you see the inauguration and you see the inauguration of uh, uh, when the temple was also completed. Now in Leviticus, like I said, 
the offerings or the sacrifices were also prescribed how to do it and all that afi uko mo se mo meto so me nsani mo ana fi wo kire kire se ne wo ma for the hood one nyina e wo nyankopon asori sia dan no emu and israel was careful to follow the instructions concerning the tabernacle or the temple worship na hey israel ana yuda o hwe se obedi no nyame ase ne nyina so e fa sia dan to madan mu sorry no na if you are following me very closely you realize that I've mentioned three major things. So udi meti ye pa obon se ma bobon no ma kese ebe mi ensa so titri pa. So the basic essentials needed for worship in the Old Testament was number 1 the priests. It is the priest. So we hwe ni ye a apam da da ni mu no me hia pa ni bia ye de ye sorry e no ye hia pa e ye so penin no and so for no. Now you need the tabernacle or the temple. Ahei, o sai hia bio si adan into madan ana se asori dan. Then number 3, you need the sacrifice. Ahei, ne to so miensa o hia afore body. Three things, number 1, the priest, the tabernacle, the sacrifice. And no ma miensa hia pa mo asori no eye si adan ana into madan afei osofo and afei afore body. So I will try and then throw some light on the importance of these three. Why you cannot uh, eliminate any one of them and make worship complete in the Old Testament? Number one, the priest. The priests were the officials that God commanded to lead and facilitate worship in the temple. Now they were Levites from the house of Aaron only. Moses' big brother. Exodus 28 verse 1. Exodus 28 1. Have Aaron your brother brought to you from among the Israelites along with his sons Nadab and Abihu, Eliezer and Itama, so they may serve as me as priests. Stross them say, Afi, Mahunia Aaron, any ne mammening in free Israel for mu emramin chain. Now we need me as of for Aaron, any ne ma Nadab, Abihu, Eliezer, any Itama. First Chronicles 23. Verse 13. First Chronicles 23, 13. The sons of Amram, Aaron and Moses. Aaron was set apart, he and his descendants forever, to consecrate the most holy things, to offer sacrifices before the Lord. To minister before him and to pronounce blessings in his name forever. Here he he describes their job, the priesthood, what they were going to do. Chronicles describes their job. O shall bless us some humana or shrim a juma waya nankasa or sena amram and ma ni aron ni mosi. Now we aron say or may ye at the crum crum. No idea or no, and then a ma in cosy da say one she a dusham a radi and him now one summon one funny ding and shira in cosy da. So the role of the priest in the old testament was crucial. And a juma no so for ye a pamda de animuno a year papa. When you bring the sacrifice, he the priest will have to receive it and actually do the sacrifice on your behalf. Now, Odia, for the body and the bread, we are there, or so for no, or J, no, no, she said, or be ye, and I'll be bought for the Nankasama. The authority was derived from God, who set them apart to serve him and attain to the maintenance of the house of God. When you go upon or now, to me, or the man, one also, a ye won't see in chance, one year, or no, you go upon, so if you are a juma. The priest stood between the people and their God as mediators, who brought the sacrifices of the people to God and led them to experience God's presence. 
so for no or yen tem jina for di me nipa no eni o nyanko pon or di nipa na for the body e ko e wadi e nim no say me nipa no e ti o nyamenka e wo want them. There were a special group of people who should be from the roots of Aaron out of the big tribe of Levi. Wo ye nipa son kwa e se se wo ye Aaron asefo ah wo yi won fi Levi busi yanko nim. You may be a powerful king as you are, but you can't do attempt to do their work because if you are not chosen god will strike you with leprosy wo betumi ayo hin kasie bi to say uzia na so so won yi wo say yes adwuma no a won tumi enye anye onyame de kwata e be sra wo fita 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 when you attempt to do their work you may be as big as king Saul but god will not be pleased there were a special group of people chosen to lead worship in the Old Testament. Now we need pastor unko nyanko pon yi won say won ni o sori anim e wa pam da da anim o yo hin kesee te so hin so lo kwa won timi enya won adwuma nya onyame eni so. So the second essential was the tabernacle or the temple. And the adin ya die so unko e to so mienu no e ye asori dan no ana sia ntoma dan no. See the tabernacle or the temple was the designated place of worship. The woman is a sorry dino and I say shan to my dino a ye baby on ya me ye se one sorry no. Now if you were to bring your ties, you have to move it from Tamale to Jerusalem. Say what do you want to do to do a bar and so bomb the ananti if you dagger dagger ah very Jerusalem and ya one ye to the extent that now it be was a burden carrying cows and cattle. So God said I sell it and bring the money along because that was the designated place of sacrifice na eye ade na hia pa dubri bi no na dania de soa se wo be soa twa kwan de abra urade nti o kire won so wo betumi aton na wo betumi de musika no aba asori fie so it was where god's presence was represented in the ark of covenant nti na ye ba bi o nyankopon ankasa na ni o nyam eyi ne ho adi e wo sia dan tomaden na it was supposed to be god's dwelling among his people ni wo mu ni se na se se ye o nyame atena ye e wo no nyame manfo o in fact god command that his people built him a tabernacle so he could dwell amongst his people. Exodus 25 verse 8. Yeah, Exodus 25 verse 8. Then have them make a sanctuary for me and I will dwell amongst them. It was in the tabernacle that Israel could meet with their God. Eh yes, you unto madan you mul and the Judah for and Israel for when in yami when yankopon is here. It was at the temple or the temple court. That was the place sacrifices were carried out. Eh I sorry den ni mu ho and we bought up for the hood when you na. The the temple court not in the temple but the temple court and the temple itself they were all supposed to be the temple and the asori dan ne nim ho e ho ne mu nyina no e hunu se adane asori dan no so the temple represented god's rule over israel and the asori dan no e jina ho mo nyankopon ahinie a na e wo israel so and reminded them of his special presence among them and to make them a source of blessing to the other nations. Na all kai won say bribia mu no oti won mu na onam won so be shire wiase aman nyina. So the temple was not just a place to meet God and to make sacrifices for him. It was also to remind the people that God was amongst them. Inti asori dan no na nya ba bia wo bo afode enko na nya ba bi nso a wo chia asori awrade enko da bi e ya ba bia o nyankopon kai won se oti wo mu na onam wo mu be shire wiase nyina let me take the sacrifice mum yan hwe afore body e no ana afore a wo bo see god commanded israel to make sacrifices for him or to bring offerings for him for different reasons and on different occasions. When you come on, say Israel man say one far for the Amreno. Now we or catch the one say one year now. Quite a hundred be brave. So now we sing the a hundred or catch the one. The sacrifices were representations of the people. No question. They say a for the body. No, a general edema nipa no ankasa. The sacrifices were representations of the people. 
for the body no e gina ho e de man nipa no ankasa what do i mean by that i didn't see na me kire the sacrifices had to do with one's ability to offer and so that when you are poor the, he, you the, there was some concession made for you yeah and for the body no na yes say ahempoma e bi didi bi achi say sika for the ewu and na ahia for the nso ewu and depending on the kind of offering uh, that is prescribed or depending on what you have done there's a prescription but in that kind of offering there is also uh, some uh, concessions the ability to afford was also in there enti afori bia no ejina ne awaye ana sentia wo ba bebo afori no so ne ba sentia wo bebo no so a ye wo mu akese ni emunkuma se ne wa ho oden etie i'll give an example and i'll illustrate that one to from scripture na mo modia de kirosem no mu nsem akirim na wati ase ye na leviticus 12 verse 6 to 8 mo mi enhwe mo se homa eto so mi ensa no eti dumie no in you mo in sia and cosin watchin or six and eight in sia and a and watchin when the days of a purification for a son or daughter are over that is when a woman is giving birth there is some kind of offering or sacrifice that is expected of her i mean as if to go and say that father thank you you see these days we tend not to be giving testimony but give testimonies now when you f we are pregnant for nine months and you give birth, don't take it for granted. Uh, not don't take it for granted. In the Old Testament, they were expected to go and say thank you with an offering. Wa pamda de ni mono bribiam no kunya nko pon ni me kwada na se na se amamfo nten ni ada se ne wurade ase me se mu kran se ye nko so ne wurade ase ni onyame be ya ma obi a konanim de ada se ye na da ewurade ase. Now somebody called me and the fellow was complaining about how they are local, they have not been giving anybody anything when you come to you. Say, wow, Go and thank God. See, you see, we are. Oh, I don't understand. Obi free me na o ka kire me se wa bo modia wo na o wo dodo no o twa kwan se anka wo be ma ne bribi enso wa ma ne hwe na nyame abo no wa wa konanim na koda na se so people don't want us to say this but let me tell you brothers there is nothing in the church of pentecost no kwa se me se ni pam pese be kan we hwe a sorry pentecost e mu no bribi animo but there's everything in god na onyame mu de ne panyina aye no ma is the head of the church no no any authority when you join the church of Pentecost, look for God. Otherwise, you'll be disturbing your spirit. Look for God. Chase Jesus. And everything that he has for you will come to pass. Because the church has not all the resources to meet your needs all the time. When I was an overseer, there was a day I was going to our regional head, uh, head office uh, to, uh, because I had some bills, uh, medical bills to uh, so I wanted to turn it in, so they they will refund. There be na me ko me man tam asu eho na me dinkra tebi ako ho akoje enho adodo di esem insaka. Now it's not bad to do that because the system requires that you do it. Awe enya boni se me yesan se ufya yansi se na ekwanda ho se ubitu mi aye. But I got to this senior uh, pastor's house and then he asked me what I was going to do at the headquarters. Now we do some penny fee. No, be some said, "Yeah, na me ko sa aso ye kesi e akoye." So I told him about my bills. And me catch it and say, "Oh, me me anka sa no me bi a me tuete aka na me hwe akwa akwa." Now he looked at me and he smiled. No, sire. And he says, "Eric, if you can pay, just just forget." And no catch it and say, "Ora Eric, u bet me tuya. Wait tuya." Then he told me for how long he's been around and how he has not submitted any of this bill. So if you can pay, just that day I I changed. And I also me ah no can't tell me if you do do a wedding software on fast and crowd down on kwa kwa jeffy and watch me cry and say say me wo I'm ready now. Minti ya now we minti ya me share na ni mu ko mu if it's hard ano me suban se sign. It was all because of these sacrifices that I'm standing here today. 
No kwasem ni se e ye sa for the body a mabu bo bo ni nanti ene ne mijina hei. It is not bad to bring in your medical bills. I'm not saying don't bring them. If you don't have that kind of faith, bring them. It is right. It's your righteous requirement. But that was an advice this man gave me, and I held on to it. Na inya boni se me ye di me ye no debi ne mum se uwa ngodi na ube tumi di aya ye uwa sa jidi na krum isanze. So let's go back to our tea. So Leviticus 12 verse 6. When the days of her purification for a son or daughter was uh, over, she is to bring to the priest at the entrance of the tent of meeting a year old lamb for a burnt offering and a young pigeon or a dove for a sin offering. So two types of offering, sin offering and bent offering. And the first one, you bring a year old lamb and the second one, a dove or a pigeon. So I'm saying that I'm going to say that I'm going to say that on fa o jantin ba wadi afi a wadi no bebo o shi afo diye ne abrono ma ba ana eje mkukua wadi bebo boni ne afo diye emra shia into madaino ano. Verse 8. Nimu wache no. But if she cannot afford a lamb, you see, if she cannot afford a lamb, she is to bring two doves or two young pigeons, one for a burnt offering and the other for a sin offering. In, in this way, the priest will make atonement for her and she will be clean. Na, nensa an son o gyan ba soa, on fa enye nkuku, miyenu, ana mrono ma, ma miyenu emra, eme ma, ba konye o shi afodye, na ba konso nye boni hon afodye, na o sofo no empata emano, na ni hon ente. So don't let us be putting pressure on the poor. Enti, mumma yem fa deswa dudro, en swa en yafo. Now let them do what they are able to do. Mumma wanyen ya wubetu miyaye. Because, and let us pray that God will raise a lot of other people who can help and lift the poor up. But the poor should always love to also sacrifice. Christ Jesus. Christo, Jesus. The Bible says that though he was rich, for our sake. He became poor. That we might be rich. But look at what his parents, look at how the parents were. I mean, look at their means. Luke chapter 2, verse 22. Verse 22. Luke 2, 22. When the time came for the purification rites came for the purification rites required by law, of the law of Moses, Joseph and Mary took him to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. Now, one who did not do yes, said the Moses Mra no see no. What they no call Jerusalem say what they no recommend every day. Now, verse twenty-three. As it is written in the law of the Lord, every firstborn male is to be consigned. Created to the law. I said, "Your watchman, no, every day, every month, say, 'Obere me biara, obe buye yafuno ano no, obe friend no, krong krong, I'm every day.' And to offer a sacrifice in keeping with what is said in the law of the Lord: a pair of dove or two young pigeons." Now, what about for the said, "Your watchman, what every day, every month, no, and you go come you no, and now I'm run no ma, I'm ma you no." See Joseph and the wife. They ran away from the lamb. So on said Joseph, and then here on a nya in your mano and I'm rich mano devi. The pair of those or two young pigeons indicates that Joseph and Mary were of modest means. Oh share and yen kuku mienu and na em rono mamma mienuna na chase Joseph and then here no we nipa one said then nibisa. Modest means is a good description of poor. Na oh sha. Not among the well to do who can afford a lamb. Not when they were poor. 
But they are child that saved all humanity. Don't let us spite the poor. Our, our, our compassion towards the poor should be seen as a journey, not just a gesture to them. Now when we go to the ghettos and we get people who are diseased, people who are drunkards, don't let us think that we are doing them good. No. We are, we are, we are beginning a journey with them. A beginning a journey with them to their greatness. That is how we should see the poor. It is not that I'm doing them good. You know, these people are smelling. No. From where you pick them, they are going to become great. So, your cock or Kenya, Miss Sam, a training power, what it is, quaint chain, no one will want to crumb near the near Cotuone, a yawa, ya, Mom, and Yang, Yang, say, ye wow, and Debbie, Sanya, what's here now, Yang, five, Yam, see, and Chuang, near Wounds, when you're meeting me, see, see, Wong, are you only park a see? The temple worship was God instituted and God prescribed. I sorry, demo. Oh, sorry, and when you pong and our pound won't tomorrow, editing team won't know, no, and not check. So, these are yeah. the three essentials that you we needed to have effective worship in the old testament. And to when no money, no mammy and sir, a year pass, a per se, a bot, a for the a demo, and I say, oh, sorry, a demo, and one pound that enemy. How did the substitutionary death of Christ on the cross fulfill the requirements, these requirements of worship? And therefore set them aside. Na a year day and a crystal wa obe would see ya name mono e to me share when we nama anti we ye see in chain. So what I've said is an introduction to next week. Anti nyamake <laughs> na no that's a name come on, you bed you know we and a day shas here. Yeah, when we actually look at how the cross fulfilled this three essential. Bra you bet to me who said send you no a year san no mummy and say na ma ma ma. One of the ways or reasons of scrapping a law is to fulfill it. I pray that God will give me life and that he also give you life. So that come next week, we will meet to discuss about the cross and how. It has redefined worship. God bless us all.